Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Now, I will, I will say this, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, so one gun thing mm-hmm. that I will put out, since it's already getting throttled, we might as well. Right. Um, yeah, this past uh, uh, couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. I dropped the... Uh, the VSO brand rifles. Oh yes, I saw you talking about uh, the gun world. I did. I wanted to talk to you about the expensive stuff. Is that where you're going, or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So tell so, us about the rifles, though. VSO brand rifles. So okay. basically, um, I have two businesses. One is the media side of stuff that you guys see, mm-hmm. and then the other is the R and D company. So that's the company that does all the contracts mm-hmm. for. Like, hey, we're going to test this thing. They send us stuff. We break it type mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. You know, all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. My, my bread and butter right. business. Well, because I'm an 07 SOT, okay. uh, I'm like, okay, well, I hold this license. I'm legally allowed to manufacture guns now. I would be leaving money on the table if I didn't try to go do that, right. essentially. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of where I started. I started the project a year ago uh, as far as R&D is concerned. Mm-hmm. And then we've... we've finally got a rifle that's available out on the market a full rifle a full rifle you okay. can go you can go and you have to do all where's this where's my stuff. t&e man what happened <laughs> yeah, i knew that that was gonna happen i knew it was gonna happen um i want the, a uh, free gun <laughs> yeah actually you're not you'd be surprised how many people have like dude like you know me it's me right? dude like, What's well, no, that? it's like I, I've had I've had people that have like uh, who <laughs> like literally send me like formal emails yeah. like like dude, are you are you you, you got to be screwing with me right now? Right, like they sent right. me a, their forum email and like all the stuff. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Their uh, their proposal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's a full past. rifle, full rifle out. Um, yes. Just is it just one particular setup on a there's, rifle or multiple options? It, there's uh there's two variants mm-hmm. we have we're calling them red and blue, red and and, blue. Okay. Uh, and if you that's not the actual where, where do color. I find these by the way so I could just pull up the like the website or something uh, vsordnance.com vsordnance okay yeah okay go ahead and, yeah so there's basically two we kind of went with a more retro look and the idea was I wanted a rifle that literally can come out of the box and be ready to do whatever it is that you that you um whether it's target shooting or self-defense or any of those sort of things. Uh, the idea was to use the retro look with the front sight tower and everything to make a bomb-proof gun, Okay. basically. So the thing is perfectly gassed, and I actually have a friend of mine who uh, purchased one the other day, and he owns a silencer company, Okay. and he is going to basically take it out and literally run the guts out of it for me so that, um, so that we know how it plays suppress and basically uh, i did a little bit of testing i suggested that he uses an like an h2 in it for that mm-hmm. uh, but basically uh, we kind of looked at it and we're like hey you know what can we do a retro look for and then also and pack as much modern functionality in it with that look okay so it's got um m-lock uh, hand guards it's got um dual aperture sights it's got the new mission first crap all over it okay um i really like their uh their i really wanted to use their extreme duty stock because i looked at it i was like wow this thing is made for 12 gauges and 308s and it's really heavy duty Mm -hmm. and it it would be really it would be far superior to feed to somebody if you had to okay like yeah so uh you people can go and check it out yeah i see you've got like an instagram and stuff like that too right um, no, no, that's your, okay, that's your, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. I haven't opened the Instagram for that particular, um, side of the business yet. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if I, I might, I don't know. I have a hard time managing all the social networking yeah. accounts that I already have. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to so. be crazy. Is it, uh, let me see. Hold on. I'm trying to VS ordinance.com. Is it, uh, do I need to take out the S if I'm trying to. I'm trying to search it. Okay, hold on. This is it. I found it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, I just want. I want to throw it up on the screen while we're talking about it. Okay. So here we go. So eleven $1, hundred and twelve hundred bucks. That's not bad. 
in today's market, yeah. And one of the things that we did um, is I literally I dropped them at a, at a little bit higher price because I built in uh, distributor pricing. Okay. Bottle and all that sort of stuff in there. If a if a if a retail shop wanted to get a couple of them, I originally had the price built to be able to to support that. Uh, and I'm like, you know what? Screw that. Yeah, I like, like restricted why? for not restricted for civilian non-government use only. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went yeah, there. That's cool. uh, yeah. yeah. Um, the idea was that by pulling that pricing out, mm -hmm. that buffer, mm -hmm. that people can get it, the informed consumer can get it more readily mm -hmm. at one hundred fifty dollars less than. Um, than they than it, what it was originally marked because I don't okay. I just don't think that it's fair. I think that if people are doing their homework mm -hmm. and going through this going through the system that we've built, then why should they be punished? You know, for that if mm -hmm. if a retail shop wants to buy them and stock them, well, mm -hmm. they can use the internet just as good. Okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I saw you were talking about the whole. Uh... The whole business of building and selling stuff and how you figure it out is not not as awesome as it looks. Yeah, yeah, I did a video. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're if you are a person who is thinking, I'm gonna point right at my camera. Okay. If you are a person <laughs> that thinks that you want to get into uh, the industry as a gun manufacturer, go watch that video. Yeah, and, so then, you're right, and then, then don't do it. <laughs> yeah, and then don't do it. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I wanted to do with that video is specifically show people how things are built mm -hmm. and how how the the price point is arrived at. Mm -hmm. So it's not just the there, it's not just buying the parts. Mm -hmm. It's not just having to know how to put them together and the sm the subtle nuances of how to take a par a pile of parts to turn them into a really good rifle, mm -hmm. right? That you need experience to do. Mm -hmm. It's not just those. It's all the other bull that you have to do mm -hmm. that eventually raises that price point. It has to, yeah. yeah. And I went through the top three that really impacted uh, that process, mm -hmm. and will continue to impact that progress that process forever mm -hmm. yeah. um, until until the way that business is done in the United States changes, and in in, in, in general, mm -hmm. let alone in the arms industry, there's these they're going to continue to be a thing and yeah. then then on top of that I, there was a fourth bonus one in that video that everybody should be aware yeah. of you guys well. should go look at that if you're interested i think it's that a, was good it's video. a decent video it's a yeah. decent video and i know I, you've like someone may think if someone thinks like curtis just decided one day oh i'm gonna i'm gonna be cool and make a rifle i think you've been doing this for a while right this is it's, didn't come it's out taken us yeah it's taken a full year mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so um because i remember even seeing you at SHOT Show talking to different companies about stuff. Something in the back of my mind. Yeah. So I it's been more seeing, than... seeing each other somewhere, but it was like at SHOT Show, but not related to what we would usually do. And you were looking at something from a manufacturing point of view. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that happened. Um, yeah, that happened. What was that like last January? That was... I think you already had stuff rolling by then. Yeah, I already had some stuff going by then. Yeah. yeah so, it, yeah. yeah, I was looking for something specific yeah. at the time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm Like I said, my memory's not that great, but I do remember that in the back of my mind um, talking about it. And, and it's just not an easy thing. Like, um, you know, uh, Safety Harbor, for example, manufacturing. Look, there's so much going on here you guys don't realize. We were talking about Franklin Armory. Um <laughs> One of the things, and so I know there's people who don't necessarily like the Franklin Armory guys for whatever reason. I, I get all of that. These guys are actually trying to come up with solutions uh, for things going on in different states and all that. People are hating on them in the gun world, and then the states are hating on them. And they're spending money trying to – imagine trying to get a rifle in California. Yeah. Get that thing on that list, you know? Yeah. Imagine when, like, the police in a place and the the uh, the governor and all and the and the attorney generals of a state like in New Jersey. I think Franklin Armory has that fight going on with New Jersey. Imagine when they're using the people's money to fight a company. You know? Yeah, 
this is how insane and how um, crazy it could be trying to manufacture things. So for sure, yeah. man, I know how that goes. Yeah, it's 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 kind of nuts. Mm -hmm. And so there's that side of the good news is we haven't had any regulatory issues. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it does was it actually help, does it help? You're in Ohio, right? Yes. Yeah, so we does are in help? a free state. Okay. Um, and I'm actually very friendly with my 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 agent. Mm -hmm. I got I got the lot. I basically won the lottery for my ATF agent. Okay. Basically, he's, um, a good, I, he's a gun dude. Like he's a gun dude, and mm -hmm. like when he showed up to do my inspection i was like hey man he's like he's like hey do you have any security and i'm like yeah security system there backup security system over there big vault downstairs you want to see it and he's like no nah, i saw the video oh. i'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i'm like oh <laughs> oh um that's good <laughs> but on top but on top of that um mm. he is very responsive mm -hmm. so if i have a question he told me right out the gate during my initial site inspection hey um if you have problems or questions call me and because of that um, a lot of people kind of wander through the process and make a whole bunch of mistakes mm -hmm. i basically wrote in and, in and some of it is left to interpretation mm -hmm. some of it is like hey you need to do this we don't really care how you do it mm -hmm. um so i literally wrote a couple procedures Mm -hmm. for for the business and submitted to them. They're like, yeah, we like this. Just change this one line to do this other thing. We would really like to see it this way. And then you'll be okay. And just okay. do it that way and you'll never have a problem. And I'm like, cool story. We're going to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I don't think people realize how nerdy you are. That's why I like talking to you. I hope people <laughs> like actually get up on that. You, you know, big nerd. I am a super nerd. <laughs> He's way nerd. more, way nerdier than I am. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cause like you remind me of my brother, for example, who's a big nerd, but then also a big dude <laughs> and people don't calculate that. So it's funny. Like, okay, I'll give you an idea. Mm -hmm. Um, right now I am teaching myself the drone pilot stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go get my one Oh seven to do commercial drone piloting okay. type stuff because, uh, there's a bunch of stuff that goes on in this area and mm -hmm. that I'm in. Mm -hmm. And I've been asked on multiple occasions to do commercial photography from okay. an aerial perspective. And I have to turn the work down mm -hmm. because I'm like, yeah, that's like totally a felony. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, that looks like the chat's working. I know people are asking. Um, and then someone said, are you building the rifles? Or I think it's Armament and Axis says, uh, so are you building the rifles, uh, all the rifles, or does someone else build them? No, I physically... Okay. put together and QC'd all those rifles. So um, some of the guys uh, helped out mm -hmm. like on certain parts, like mm -hmm. um, uh, Spangers, for instance, put all the trigger springs in, mm -hmm. right? He, he went through and he put all the trigger springs on all the hammers, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that sort of thing. So you're like, technically running a gun guy sweatshop is what you're saying. Pretty much, but I gave him a whole bunch of beer. So, <laughs> I, don't, you know. I don't know. If the, okay, you gave him the beer after. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> after yeah. the build. Yeah, yeah. If you get your rifle and it smells a little bearish. No, no, nothing like that. No, right, not, no. nothing like that. No, we don't mix the two. That's not okay. No. Right. Uh, but that was like tongue in cheek. But right, right, right. Basically, each see of those, those, got... those legal things. You got to keep all yeah. that. See? So, keep all that going. Um, but. Each of those those rifles um, all have QC checks at five different points in the build mm -hmm. process. So it's not like I sat there and I'm like, okay, I'm like, you can't just sit there and build a rifle start to finish. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have enough space to mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you go through and one day I go through and I put all the I put all the front detents in mm -hmm. and I or I completed all the lowers mm -hmm. and then another you know and then I you know that probably takes a couple days. Mm -hmm. Each time I get a batch of stuff in that's what the process looks like it'll start okay you know we're gonna put the lower together mm -hmm. and then i'll put the lower together and mm -hmm. i'll do whatever the whatever the order batch is basically mm -hmm. and then i'll move on to the next stop and the next stop and the next mm -hmm. stop so you get down to the you get down to the end and essentially you end up with two halves of the rifle that have been QC'd at multiple points. Mm -hmm. And then you put the two together. And then they all go for 
test fire and final QC. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And and VSL's putting his name on it, so Yeah, I'm yeah. not screwing around with these. Yeah. This is not this is not put together at some other location in the country. Yeah. Somewhere. I'm sure you are imagining some gun guy will go out there and get one of those just to make a video. Like, here I am, torture testing. VSL. I would absolutely <laughs> love if somebody bought one and went and torture tested it yeah. um, or took it through a, through a training course or something like that. Yeah. That would be ecstatic. I would be absolutely ecstatic if somebody did that. Um, yeah. I'm pretty confident in it. As, it yeah. as I said, part of that year-long process is it wasn't just it took me a year to get – it didn't take me a year to get all the parts, mm -hmm. right? It took me a year to get all the back end put together. It took me a year to do all the testing. So um, the very first one that we came, that came off the line was my was my brother's gun. Okay. He and it, and we used that one specifically because it was a blem. Okay. <laughs> so he's like he's like this one has a mark on it. Can I has it? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, basically, I can, I can that, imagine that. Yeah, that's how it, that's how it went, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, you know, we uh, we'll put that one together, and you can buy it at cost, you know, yeah. or whatever. Uh, so that's yeah. Yeah, Len so, Holt wants to know how many you're doing it. You're turning out a day. How many am I turning out a day? Yeah, right now my max that I turned out a day was 15. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, a bigger number out, than I thought, but okay. yeah, yeah, it, it, that was a very long day. Okay, <laughs> uh -huh. so I currently have all the components that I'm going to be able to get in for the 2020 run. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I hate, because of the political situation in this country right now, mm -hmm. components, and I touched on this somewhat in the, in the video that I made, mm -hmm. components are very difficult to come by right now. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. because of that, I... What I think is going to happen is we'll probably run through all the run that we've done that I have in house right now for 2020. Mm -hmm. I have enough to keep keep to to keep it building for a little while, um, and then we'll we'll probably rehash for 2021. We might do a pre order just to kind of gauge interest, mm -hmm. where it'd be like, hey, you know, pre order 200 bucks, and then you're locked in at this price no matter what happens, you know, mm -hmm. in 20. In, in in 2021 mm -hmm. we might do that i don't know i haven't i'm kind of conflicted about it because i'm yeah. i'm on record talking yeah. about pre-order before yeah and then okay. yeah you're holding on to someone's money and then they're making videos about that yeah and like, where's, like, my, ah. where's my gun vso yeah, yeah and i'm like ah, i don't know if i really want to but then at the same time i also don't want to undershoot it where I'll, like if i if if 500 people want rifles you know by april mm-hmm I'm probably like my in my mind that is not the size of order that I would make for delivery in January, right? Mm -hmm. Like right now, I wouldn't probably make an order of that size right now unless I had demonstrated, you know, somebody's like, you know, if if they if I put that up and 500 people want them, then I'm gonna call the 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 OEM shop that makes my mm -hmm. uh, lower receiver. Mm -hmm. and say hey bro i need a thousand lowers <laughs> okay yeah move me to the front of the line right now shut up and take my money yeah <laughs> okay yeah uh kermit loves bacon wants to know what the, what's their chambering five five six right now they're five, five, okay. both, both variants are in five five six <sighs> we have two other calibers planned for Delivery by mid 2021. Okay, we're in R we're in R and D right now on them. I'm actually um, I'm actually planning on some R and D work this this weekend mm -hmm. because I needed access, and this may actually give too much away, but I'm going to do it anyway. I my PVS 14 is not here yet. Okay, I do not have my PVS 14. My um, so I'm actually borrowing my brother's to be able to use it for testing hmm. because if that, that particular rifle will be specifically geared towards the night vision community. Okay. So a very specific thing. And to do that, I have a couple different things that we're, we're looking at different things that have to move to be able to get it mm -hmm. and to be able to see it 
Mm -hmm. I need, I need, I need light enhancement. Okay, and then uh, Kermit loves bacon has a follow up. He says, "Why five five six and not two two three wild?" Oh, okay, sorry. Um, yeah, they are chambered in five five six, not two two three wild. I thought, why five five six, not two two three? I thought the dude was actually making a joke. Yeah. Um, two three wild, uh, really. I don't really notice a difference as far as performance is concerned. Mm -hmm. And the reason I went 556 five, is because the barrel that I wanted was available in 556. Five, it was not available. The technology hadn't been ported over to 223 Wild yet. Okay. So, yeah, at the is time. It, is there a trend going more in the 223 Wild direction than 556? Five, five, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there okay. there is a lot of movement to to towards two two three wild, mm -hmm. but like to be honest, I don't really like from my own testing, I don't see a whole lot of performance difference. Like mm -hmm. what translates onto paper, mm -hmm. I don't really see it. Okay. So yeah, I don't see a major difference between the two, to the point where it would, where some where I would tell somebody they need to spend an extra like fifty bucks on a on a gun because it says two, two, three wild on it versus five, five, six. Yeah. You yeah. see what I mean? No, I know. I mean, and I don't get as in depth as you. That's why I'm interested in that because I know that was like a thing for a little while and I saw some guns and I probably even had a couple things that were two, two, three wild, but yeah, I don't know what the, I'm I not. would say to me, the mm -hmm. most important thing is how that barrel was made and it's, and what type of barrel it is. So mm -hmm. if it's a 4140 and it's got some kind of nitride on it or some other kind of, you know, what I would call um, second tier finish, mm -hmm. I, for instance, we, a lot of people would be like, how come it doesn't have a chrome line barrel? And I'd be like, because chrome line barrels suck. Mm -hmm. That's why. Like mm -hmm. this whole thing that our people pre-programmed, the status quo in the last five years has been challenged in a big way as far as AR technology is concerned. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't suggest anybody buy a chrome line barrel anymore. Mm -hmm. I did a test for, uh, with ballistic advantage, mm -hmm. uh, over the course of last year. Mm -hmm. And we actually used the 10.5 inch barrel variant on, in our machine gun. Mm hmm and I have to to date logged over fourteen thousand rounds of mm -hmm. fully automatic fire through that gun, mm -hmm. and it still shoots a two inch group. It is yeah. not a chrome line barrel. Mm -hmm. It is a QPQ barrel, quench polished quench, which is the same barrel that we used in the rifles, only they're sixteen inches long. Okay. Because nobody because nobody actually formed fours short barrel rifles anymore. Mm -hmm. Everybody form ones them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, you know what I wanted to ask you about this? Um, how come there's not just lowers? How come we don't have just the VSO lower option? Um, because um, I really just um, come it's on, almost so like us a, poor it's YouTubers, almost, man. Yeah, it's a, it's almost like a brand protection thing. Okay. To be honest. Okay. Um, where like I don't want I don't want my logo next mm -hmm. to some trash. Mm -hmm. essentially mm -hmm. like if that gun has a problem and it has my name written on the side of it mm -hmm. then that gun can come back to me mm -hmm. okay so if it's got vs ordinance yeah but hank written, strange built up some kind of rifle yeah if you, you put some you know bull what? on top of it and blows <laughs> up in your face that ain't my fault i make a so, bull pup out of it <laughs> yeah that ain't my fault so it's like one of those things like hey mm -hmm. you know now, if somebody buys one and they want certain components installed on it, I'll absolutely do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I tell people like, hey, I put the best trigger I could in it for and still stick to the to the mainstay, which mm -hmm. is like, hey, I, I want it to be a mil spec style trigger. Mm -hmm. I didn't want a trigger pack. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to have all of those individual components. And we got a five and a half pound trigger out of the out of the thing. The best one that I tested in the whole uh to to date of the ones that I've built is a four and a half pound trigger, mm -hmm. and the worst one was a five and a, uh, five and a half. Okay. So okay. I did a pretty good I did a pretty good job on the trigger as mm -hmm. is. If mm -hmm. somebody wants a CMC, buy it and send it to me. I'll drop it in your gun right now. Oh, okay, cool. And then and then uh, I don't know what the price difference will be. 
No, if they if they're if they're purchasing the item and sending it to me, I don't give. Okay, listen. So tell the folks out there how they can uh, catch up with you, where they can follow you, support you, all that good stuff, man. Yeah, we're on everything. Mm -hmm. um, I, well, excuse me, that's really bad to say these days. Okay, <laughs> um, uh, the bread and butter ones: YouTube, Full Thirty, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Mm -hmm. all, all those VSO Gun Channel. And you just type it in; it'll pop up. And then if you're looking for the website that we've been talking about the whole time where you find the rifles and all that stuff, that's over on at VSordnance.com. Yeah. So VSO Gun Channel, you'll find it. Um, and that's where you guys can ask all your questions. I try my best to keep up with stuff. YouTube comments, I really appreciate them. I read all of the comments. Okay, I really do. I may not read them until a month later because I have a huge <laughs> backlog. Okay. Okay, yeah. But That's honest. But, but, but yeah. Uh, it really does help out the channel if you guys leave comments. And some of my best ideas for videos have been generated from user comments. And I will call them out on the channel when I do them. And I'm like, hey, I never was going to do anything like this. And somebody was like, hey, you need to do that. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do this. And it may spark something mm -hmm. that I want to go out and do. So um, there is a, a very transparent transfer of information there. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, we, have a, we have a great audience. I really appreciate all you guys. Uh, I appreciate you and Lola for having me on the show. I always have a good time when I'm here, yeah. obviously. Lola and I, we love you, man. You know that. We've been friends for a long time through a We've whole bunch of stuff. Long, yeah. Through a, for yeah. a long time. Yeah, and so, I respect that. You're you're the kind of dude you deal with everyone on an individual basis. We've always been cool. So, yeah. you know, That's, it's nothing but love over here. Well, I appreciate that, too. That, that means yeah. a lot to me. Absolutely. So. And here's what I would do before I, like, I'm not even going to get into me. I actually challenge someone to go get one of these VSO ordinance guns, do a review on it. I will, like, if you tag me, I will do everything possible to share that on, on social media. I, I would want to see someone do it. <laughs> I would love if somebody, if somebody got one mm -hmm. and tested it yeah. and, gave me honest feedback on yeah. the running of the system and how it can be improved. I would, that would be ecstatic for me. Yeah, I would love that too. Buy it. It's not expensive. Okay. You know, and support him, you know, to, for building this thing, do it, especially if you're a guy out there that's trying to build up your YouTube channel. I'm telling you, I will share that video. I'll even invite you to come on here. And then I will do the, ex I will do the exact same thing. If somebody were to do that, I would absolutely, I don't hide from, from feedback. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the reasons why the only videos that I have ever removed from YouTube mm -hmm. are ones that um, I was pretty much forced to remove. Mm -hmm. So like terms of service violations type mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. um, or were specifically removed by YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So you can go all the way back. You can see the first video I ever made on YouTube and it was terrible. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> oh, because. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. Um, specifically because I am a lineage kind of person. Yeah. This is where I was. And because of that, I never, uh, I never get, I never want to be that uh, person that's like looking down from their ivory tower. is like, um, as like, I'm so much, yeah, yeah, I'm like, I don't make any mistakes or I, you know, I'm always been good, you know, all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. Like doing. Make sure to check out hankstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.